Okay, this is the M1 paper from October 2021. Question number six, and as you can see by looking at this, this is going to be a kinematics question with vertical motion under gravity. Okay, let's have a look at it. Quite unusual that they give me a velocity time graph at the start, and I say this is a velocity time graph. Um, ball has been thrown upwards from t equals naught um, from a point which is above the horizontal ground, and then it hits the ground seven seconds later. Right, what I'm going to do is I always do a quick sketch of this just to help myself out when I'm doing it. So based on what we've got there, my graph, my diagram, sorry, would look something like this. It starts off at point A here. When we've got the velocity equals naught there, that's equivalent to the point B here, which is where it gets to its maximum height. Then it comes down to point C there, and this all takes, well, that would be naught seconds. This bit here would be, what did we say, two and a half seconds. And then finally, seven seconds there. Um, and it says, given this information, can we find the speed with which the ball is thrown? So yeah, I'm going to do SUVAT. And I'm going to do SUVAT, first of all, just from A to B. So this is why I've sort of done my little diagram. I'm just trying to help the examiner to see where I'm going. SUVAT, and what I would be hoping to see is that... Of the five variables, four of them should be involved and one of them will be the missing thing. So if we look at this situation here, we know that from A to B, U, that's what I'm trying to find. So U, I don't know. V is going to be equal to naught at that point because it's reached its highest point. Stop moving for a second. We know acceleration is minus G. I'm going to use minus 9.8. And we know it took two and a half seconds to do that. So I'm not interested in S in that one. Classic SUVAT question, V, U, A, and T. We're going to use V equals U plus A, T. And we should be able to work out what U is going to be equal to here. So naught is equal to U minus 9.8. Just get that handwriting a bit neater. Minus 9.8 times 2.5. And so U will just work out to be... 24.5 meters per second. But then remember, if we were using G as 9.8, we've already decided there then that that's two significant figures. So I should really call that 25 meters per second. It doesn't mention anything about decimal places and significant figures, but with G, we know we do everything to two significant figures. Okay, what does the second part say? So the second part says, can we now work out what this height here is going to be? So in order to do that, what I'm now going to consider is this as being my journey from A to C here. If I do that, I can still use the same U that I've just found. I can still use the same acceleration. I'll use t as being 7 seconds. And what I'm expecting to see is that um, the displacement should work out to be a negative. Because if I'm starting off with this as my start-off point, by the time I get down there, c has gone below a. And so the maths should do that for me. I don't need to worry about it. The maths will just work that out. What I now need to do is to make it clear. Whoops, I've got a lot of space there. To make it clear to the examiner what I'm actually going to be doing here. So, part B. I'm just trying to think, have I got enough space here? Yeah, if I just move everything up a little bit, just bear with me for two seconds. And I just tidy all of this up. Let's just put this here. And here. And here. And then hopefully I'll have enough space now to do this question. Yeah, so as we said, um, from A to C this time, this is for the examiner. I'm going to again do SUVAT. S is what I'm looking for. So that's going to be my variable. I can use my 25. I'm still going to use 24.5. I'm still going to use the value that I had on the calculator there. 
Um, I only rounded it up in terms of giving the answer there. V, I'm not bothered about V, you don't care what speed it's going at when it uh, hits the ground. A is minus 9.8 still. And T I know is seven seconds. So as always, I've got one, two, three, four of the variables there of which I'm only looking for one of them. So yep, no worries about being able to do that thing then. S, U, A, and T. Well, if you've done any work on the kinematics, that should just jump out at you as being S equals U, T plus half A, T squared. Put in what we know. So I've got 24.5 times 7. I've got plus a half minus 9.8, 7 squared. And it's just a matter of working all of that out then. So if you put that all into the calculator, that works out to be minus 68.6, or rather minus 69. And so we can say the height above the ground is 69 meters. Relatively straightforward, Subat question there. Hopefully that all makes sense.